The desperate search to find the man accused of sexually assaulting a woman out for an innocent morning walk. Atlanta News First, Adam Murphy, live 22 miles north of Atlanta in Roswell. And police say this attack happened around 8 o'clock this morning along a trail that cuts a seven mile path through the city, Adam. That's right, Sean. I want to give you a sense of what's going on out here. We're along this paved part of the trail. And you can see there were people walking through here. This is normally a very busy area, especially in the evenings or early morning. But you can see for yourself how dark it does get because there is so much thick tree cover in this area as well. And this is back where police are telling me the incident happened. And we spoke with many people walking along this trail today. They were stunned to hear about this alleged sexual assault. Just before 8 o'clock, Roswell police officers responded to the Riverwalk Trail, where they met with a 19-year-old woman who said she was sexually assaulted early Tuesday morning. I certainly hope that she has folks that are helping her and supporting her because that's a terrible thing to have happen. The victim reported to have been walking on the paved path near Riverside Road and Dogwood Road when she was approached from behind by an unknown man described as wearing dark clothing and a COVID style mask. The man claimed to be in possession of a gun and forced her into a wooded area where he allegedly sexually assaulted her. I've been on these trails for 23 years now, so it doesn't change my perceptions. It does make me sad that people still, that women in particular, still have to watch out for this kind of thing. Detectives are currently speaking with a person of interest in the investigation, which is still in the preliminary stages. It's unclear if the victim was able to access one of the emergency call boxes located every quarter mile along the trail. It's one of the things I love about the Roswell parks and these particular trails is that you can go for miles and miles and you will see people at all hours and it's safe. So I kind of hate to see that and hate to hear that. Now back out here live along the Roswell River Walk Trail, I've just got my hands on some new information from Roswell Police. They tell me that the woman, the victim in this case, was not able to get to one of those emergency call boxes. Instead, I'm told there was another person walking along the trail back here that saw the woman in the woods very distressed, and that individual called and notified police with that 911 call. If you have any information in this case, contact Roswell Police. We're live in Roswell on the Riverwalk. Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First.